it's like we're talking butt length, like your hair down to your butt. Hi Melanies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about hair growth and gene and we will be explaining how gen the role of genetics when it comes to hair growth. I will be proving to you that you don't have bad genes and your genes are not the reason why your hair is staying short but I will be explaining to you the actual things that your genetics or your genes actually determines when it comes to hair growth. So, with that being stated, watch this video to the end because I know <laughs> you're interested in that. So, there are a lot of things your genes determine, like it determines how thick your hair is, it determines how fine or thin your hair is, it determines how um, voluminous or dense your hair is, how sparse your and all of that. But in this video, I will be listing only two things that actually affect how your hair grows or that affects how your hair grows the most. So there are two main things your gene determines when it comes to growing your hair or how long your hair can actually grow. And one is um, how fast your hair grows, your hair grows rate. So when it comes to how fast the hair grows, this is totally based on genetics. On, on average, our hair, the human hair grows half an inch in a month. That's just the average rate. However, your gene tells you how specifically your hair actually grows in a month. So your gene could say your hair grows slower than half an inch in a month, or your gene could say your hair grows faster than half an inch in a month. So this is all completely based on your gene, and that's why sometimes it's not really okay to um, compare your hair growth with someone else because the other person could actually have a faster hair growth rate than you or a slower hair growth rate than you but that doesn't mean your own hair isn't growing it just means your hair naturally genetically grows at a slower rate and one thing we tend to do is to grow our hair longer by putting stuff on our hair expecting it to make our hair grow faster but the truth is that our gene determines the fastest our hair can grow and there is nothing you're going to put on your hair that is actually going to make your hair grow faster than its actual rate so even if you see videos of people tell you use rice water and all of that to grow your hair long or grow an inch overnight it's not true it's, <laughs> it sounds so unrealistic and it's definitely not possible so in this case how fast your hair grows is completely determined by your gene however you could be doing some things that could actually make your hair grow slower like having a very poor diet being stressed out or lacking in some vitamins like iron some nutrients or um, the way you actually undo your hair in your scalp it could actually be slowing down your hair growth rate now in that case you can change up some things in the way you may take care of yourself your hair to make your hair grow back as fast as its fullest potential can however making your hair grow faster than it's um, already specific genetically rate that isn't possible so that is one main factor that determines how long your hair can grow. Now the second factor that determines how long your hair can grow is how long each hair strand on your hair stays before it sheds. So our hair actually grows on a cycle, it grows for a particular time, like a number of years, then it stops growing and it sheds like each hair strand, not your entire head, <laughs> each hair strand just like grows at a particular time, grows for a certain number of years, then stops growing and then sheds up from your scalp. Now, the number of years each hair strand grows can determine the longest your hair can get. Now, this is called energy phase, like in the cycle, it's called energy phase. That's the phase or the time your hair is actually actively growing on your hair. Now, the human's energy phase, your hair energy phase, your scalp, is actually between two to six years, but let's just stick to the average to so like the middle so let's say for example your energy phase is four years 
which means each hair strands on your hair grows out for four years and then sheds off that's why when you take down a protective style or whenever you comb your hair you notice you will still lose some hair now that does not mean your hair is breaking like it doesn't necessarily mean your hair is breaking yes your hair could be breaking but when you look into those hairs that came out from your comb you notice that some of them have a white bob at the tip of each hair strand like i don't know how i'm going to explain so if this is your hair strand like there's going to be at the tip some white bob some white bob the tip of your hair strands going to have something white and that is where it comes out from your scalp that is how it came out from your scalp it came out with a white bob so when you see a white bob on the tip of your hair strand it simply means um your hair shed off from your scalp like that's a natural shedding process doesn't necessarily mean your hair is breaking however your hair could actually be breaking but some of it's actually shedding hair so that's just a normal thing your hair sheds, it grows for a certain number of years, it stops growing, then it shed each individual hair strand. So back to the basic, back to the average, if your hair grows for like four years, it means the length your hair can get within four years is the longest your hair can get. So once it reaches that four years, it's shedding off from your scalp, it's getting out of your scalp, and it's not going to grow longer than that. Now let's do some mathematics here. So let's just assume you have a hair growth rate of half an inch in a month, like your hair grows half an inch in a month. It means in a year, your hair will be able to grow six inches now assuming your energy phase or your hair grows four years before it sheds up means your hair will be able to grow up to 24 inches let me show you how long 24 inches is so this is 24 inches guys We're talking waist length. By the way, I have a tutorial on this braid. You can check that out. It's, I made it myself. It's a DIY. I'll link you in the description. <laughs> and this is just like the average growth rate. Imagine someone with five years of energy phase, and that's 30 inches. Like we're talking butt length, like your hair down to your body so all of this is just to help you understand that you don't have bad genes so if your hair is staying at shoulder length it's not your gene like it's not your gene so let's be realistic here I'm not saying you will be able to grow your hair down to 24 inches or 30 inches even if you actually may be able to do that which once again is all determined by your gene but if your hair is staying at shoulder length like it's not your gene, like it's not your gene. Your hair could at least grow down to your back, even longer than that. But no one has gene as bad as hair getting stuck at shoulder length. You're probably wondering if that is it. Why is it that black people's hair are mostly short, while white people's hair are mostly long? Even if we humans actually have the same. Um, hair growth cycle and rates almost not exactly the same but like almost i will be making a video on that why we black people mostly have short hair but the truth is that we can actually grow our hair longer than shoulder length like that is not the longest your hair can get your hair can go down to your back and go down to your waist even down to your butt which is your chain but shoulder length is not your gene like you can grow your hair longer than that you're probably wondering okay fine we know you can grow your hair long but how do we grow our hair long which would be a different video entirely that's why you should subscribe to this channel like you should subscribe because it means when i upload a new video or when i drop a video about small videos about hair growth tips and all of that you will get notified youtube will tell you that i uploaded a new video see it and be able to watch the video 
and that basically is it so i forgot to state this is that even at the length my hair is presently i still get comments where people tell me that it's because i have good chain and i know this is also common for people with way longer hair hair down their waist and all of that and there are still many people out there who still believe that this is all down to your gene and if you don't have good gene your hair can never get so that was what moved me to make this video to debunk that myth and if you know someone who still believes in this you can definitely share this video with them i hope this video was informative as usual i know the usual like subscribe that is like the least you can do to support the channel and i'll see you in my next video ciao